Welcome back guys to the channel, welcome to Gareth Marion Range, I'm Gareth. Here we have episode 2 of Resident Evil 3. Um, you might have to forgive me, I might do a bit of that, hiccuping. I'm very lammy after a huge lammy dinner, but I've got meat in me, I'm ready to destroy some zombies. Let's carry on, here we go, so, hardcore, chapter 3, away we go. Now, if I remember correctly, things were going rather well before. Uh, we made good progress outside the fire hose section, and I, I, well, I died, so yeah, that's that's less good. Uh, but generally speaking, there was some, there was some advancement, advancement, advantageous progress. I don't know. We advanced, and it felt good. Uh, so I'm looking forward to carrying on. So. If we just pick up where we were left off, I think I saved by this red door. Yes, this mysterious red door that talks to people. Ah, but I seem to remember I said we're going to do the rompses, the convenience store, shotgun, rid myself of this damn set of bolt cutters that are taking up crucial inventory space, and then continue. So, here we go. Um... I hope everyone's keeping well. Oh, as soon as as soon as I say that, something's out to get me, Mr. Crawley guy. And if memory serves me correctly, he is not bothered that you stab him, but will make you stab him for some time over and 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 over. And over 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 and over. He's still not dead. What was that? 40? And I'm in a wall. What the hell was that? Forty stabs? Oh, we're, we're doing this all night. Episode 2 will be mainly stabbing this man repeatedly. That's ridiculous. He got up. He got up. I'm quite anxious now. If they're going to be that strong... Man, I seem to remember I had loads of bullets last time. I put some away. I put some away. Things are making sense. Okay. How many, how many times do I have to stab that guy? That's mad. Uh, blue rhombus. We know what this is. We know what this is. Hold on. Lamb. Oh. Oh. Lamb. It was good. So today is Easter Monday. Yes. That's the day after Easter Sunday. I was just trying to make sure that wasn't the first day of Holy Week. And we, uh, as a family, because I'm at home at the moment, because of uh, obvious reasons. Hmm, what other pandemics are there? Uh, and so... Words, words, Gareth, words. And so we finished off yesterday's lovely Easter Sunday meal, and it was delicious. And it was lamb. If I haven't said lamb yet, it was lamb. It was lamb. Lamb. And it was pinned. Pinned. Twinned. Come on, Gareth. It was twinned, for those that care, with uh, a reasonable wine, uh, Domaine de Cabas, who are superb winemakers, and in a very lovely restaurant, in a very lovely hotel in Sable, uh, which is very near Gigondas, in the South Rhone, southern Rhone part of France. And we just had their, uh, their standard Sable that they make, their red, their red wine. Uh, they do, however, do a phenomenal, uh, oh, what's it called? Well, I'll get back to the game in a minute, but why? Uh, it's called, it's called, it's called, it'll come back to me. But they do, their tier, their highest tier wine is delicious. Um, one of my favourite wines ever, actually, I have to say. But look up Domenda Cabas, both a lovely place to, stay, place to stay, lovely place to eat, and a lovely place to drink. And they make great wine. There was chat about them stopping making their wine, but fortunately they've continued. 
uh, as is the uh, flakiness of the winemaking industry. So here we go, we did all this, right, we did red rhombus, that's enough wine chat. Just wanted to explain to you why I was having lamb blubs, burps, blubs, whatever they are. And then this gave us the shotgun part. So I'm really keen to see actually what's behind that red door, but there's no way, no way in hell that I'm going through it before I've opened the other places. Nah, -uh, not happening. So that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna get that gunpowder. I'm very aware of lack of spaces I have, man. Very aware of the lack of inventory space. I'm gonna get a shotgun first, purely because in the Kite Brothers Railway offices, I think we picked up everything else. I think everything else is picked up. And I'm hedging my bets that once I get the shotgun, it's still going to take up one inventory space. Hope so. Because that means once I've combined the stock with it, the shotgun stock, I won't have taken up any more space. I'll still that those two things will still be one space. If this isn't making sense to you guys, I know what I mean. Uh, it's a good thing I know what I mean because if I was saying things and didn't know what I mean, I should be put in a mental institution. Sorry, lamb, lamb and sable. I mean, it's a good mix. Also, we we garlic to the lamb massively with rosemary and garlic. And oh, oh this happened last time. Fucking hell! This guy! I oh, just chatting away about lamb and wine. You scared the shit out of me. Again! Fat lump of tub. Goo, goo, gobble. Fat man. Wobbly. Oh, my heart is still going. God, you scared the crap out of me. Fuck you. Seriously, oh, that's twice. No, he's just, he's fat. Oh. Damn. Be extra careful when there are multiple zombies nearby. I... One fat zombie is enough to kill me. Oh. Oh, what a waste of, what does the clock say? Eight minutes! Oh! Eight minutes of my life! I've wasted you eight minutes of your lives. I can only apologise. You won't get them back. I, I am not a time lord. Or am I? No, I'm not. <sighs> right. Do you know what? Oh, I don't know. More, but more hedge betting, betting of hedges. I can put these away. I'm gonna hope when I pick up a shotgun, it comes with some ammo. Just oh, oh my god! I'm doing this bit for a third time. <laughs> Oh, chap. I've, I'm not with it. I'm not on it. Right, let's get on this bus. The banter bus is... Oh, he hasn't got out. Okay, we'll deal with him after. We'll deal with him after. Not my finest start, but... I will be better. I promise. Namaste. That doesn't work. Hashtag lamb. Don't eat lamb before you play games. Lamb. Lamb. <laughs> I know he's there. Why am I getting scared? That fat fuck scared the shit out of me. Absolutely more than last time. 
Um, has he got a better turning? He's got a turning circle of a lorry, but... Is he, he's gonna fucking get up. He's not gonna get up. Look at this, look at this. Stabbing the hell. And now he's gonna get up. You know what? You know, why, why? Shotgun shells, that's why I have a spare slot. I was about to say I'm being a moron and could take this fl fl flipping. Fl 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 Lammy. Flipping first aid spray. But I didn't do it last time, but now I have a spare slot because I took the shotgun shells away. I've got to get on this train. I've got to get on this train quickly. It's, you know, it's, it's now 11 minutes of your lives, give or take. I can't, I can't get it back to you. I'm sorry. You'll just have to keep watching and trust me. Stay with me, please. <laughs> uh, it's the wine, guys. It's the wine. And the lamb. 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 <laughs> Brick. I love lamb. I love lamb. Fuck. Here we go. This is, this is what... Social distancing, staying in the house all the time does to me. Here we go. Got a bit of blue. Got a bit of blue. Got a bit of red. Oh, got an itch. Sorry, that was distinctly unpleasant for all of you. Uh, I know there are a couple of blips in the. Oh no, <laughs> lamb. In the uh, video last week. Last week, two days ago, whatever it was. Uh, this episode will be called Lamb. What have I done? I don't know. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. 28. You see, there's the other 28 handgun. Lovely. Here we go. Fat Man is a walking. We're going to remember Fat Man. He's large enough to notice. Yet... This video and the last video, he has scared the absolute crap out of me. It's because he's just derpy derpy behind the door. Like, something that large, which suddenly moves faster at you with derpy derpy noises. You know, that noise. <laughs> it's terrifying. If I moved at you, and I'm not fat. Well, I, <laughs> look at all this. I am getting chubby. Gonna have to start doing some of these Joe Wicks videos or something. I miss the gym, man. There is no gym. Gym doesn't exist anymore. What was I saying? If I came at you, going, you'd be scared, right? Right, guy, stop talking. Oh, he's having a piss. Is he having a piss? I don't know. Right, not, not today, but I can't, oh, I'm really struggling, here we go, here we go, here we go, RAF shooting, bang. Uh, yep, that's how the RAF shoot, miss. Oh no, walls. Bosh. Bosh. Oh, it's not good, Gareth, come on. There we go. There we go, he's got it, we're back, we're back. I had a word with my brain. I absolutely have loved. I don't trust that he's dead at all. Three more. Four. Five. He's dead. I would have loved to have done voiceover work for this game. So I know that lovely, dearest beauty of Strange Rebel Gaming uh got some voiceover work for Final Fantasy 7 which is fucking cool congratulations if you ever see this for whatever reason you know me not <laughs> love me uh, congratulations to you hats off that's awesome but I would love to have done this game the guys doing the zombie sound effects was about a blast 
you know, going into work every day, oh, could we have um, female screaming one more time? <laughs> you know, that's hilarious. And also, I don't know, plump zombie running. <laughs> oh, I would have loved it. Oh, that's a great idea for a video. I might do the sound effects along to the animations of them. Heard it here first. <laughs> Shotgun! <laughs> so, I have two brothers. We had a delightful time in Carefully, which I want to say is in, it's just outside Cardiff. I lived in Cardiff for four years in dear old Wales. And they came and visited, and for one of my birthday treats, we all went shotgun shooting. <laughs> in, just outside Cardiff, in a place called Kefili, where we shot shotguns. And I got, I think I got a 74% hit rate with clay shooting, so they fire, you know, the draw, and then you shoot. And I was, with a shotgun, with a 12 gauge shotgun, I was managing some hits 50 yards with a shotgun. So 74% was was impressive, you know, because the choke splits, the choke, is that what it's called? The spread, the shotgun cartridge spreads out. But I was, ah, combination. Anyway, it was a lovely trip, love a shotgun, ha 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 ha. Ma toi, shotgun. Ouais. C'est très bon. Pour la guerre. I can't remember if war is fem feminine or masculine. Apologies, dearest friends in France. Du guerre. I'm pretty sure it's masculine. I'm going with masculine. Good. What you've got seems fine. And you know what? What's this guy? In the demo, because this is still the demo. Great, so I've wasted a shotgun shell and a bullet on a man that isn't getting up when you shoot him. He's gonna get up when I go this way. I know he is. Is that him? Well, now there's th three people here. Oh, he's not got up. I don't trust him at all. Come on. Come on, club zombie. Clombie. It's a clump. Move, move. He didn't get up. Oh, he's giving me the heebie jeebies. I wish not to be heaved. Yes. Yeah. Five. Five. What a treat. So I've wasted one. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. But, you know, I'm aware ammo is an issue. But at least it wasn't Resi 2. And other Resident Evils. Why isn't he moving? I'm worried about him not moving. Okay. You guys heard that, right? Oh, okay. Do not use the elevator. Please make your way to a fire escape. Could, I wonder if you guys can hear this, because I'm so used to headphones. Oh, oh, they're very new to me. Um, that's the wrong button. You guys can hear that guy on the tannoy screaming his head off, yeah? Right, I've used this three times. I've used it three times. Red door. Oh, no! Somebody's... Gotta remember that. That wasn't me getting scared, that was me remembering. Although they seem quite far away. They are quite far away. Why are they so far away? Doesn't matter. We're off. Oh, God. I'm not even thinking. That's when Nemesis appeared when you go through those doors. And he didn't appear that time. 
like in the demo. I'm doing some right fluky, shoddy. Oh god, I'm getting. Oh. Here we go. Red door. Shall I save? I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. For a first run, I'm not bothered about. Not that bothered about what I get at the end. In terms of a grade. What I do want to do is get to the end. Because there's got to be something harder than hardcore, because it's given you. There's no ink ribbons. And I feel like. Lies. I feel like. There's something that's going to happen. Like after, once you finish the game, I feel like there'll be another, another tier in terms of difficulty. Like where it'll be you can only save, or you can only load up and go from save points. Because that's what I thought was going to happen. And remember when I died in the last video, and then I started just outside this room. Right here we go. Can you see us? Yeah, careful, careful. But I don't have a story enough in three to know who this is. Don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an infected. No, 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 wait, please! What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars, this soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? Is this Nikolai? He would have turned. There's your sense. God, look at the facial animations, man. This is incredible. Go back to the subway station. We don't need a bleeding heart like you. Getting bleeding heart. <laughs> Come on, Nikolai. Well, he fucked off quickly. I can't believe he just. Wow. He was bit. Brad, man. Brad must be a zombie. Again, I only know elements of the story in Resi 3 because... Bolt cutters. That's fine. Okay. I was like, why is it telling me to throw away shotgun shells? Yes, I picked them up. I discard you. You're done with. What? No. I discard you. You're done with. Thank you. I wonder what Brad's... What, like, is he a zombie? Training log. July 10th. He's 202 pounds. He did 12 laps of a yard, which was two circuits. 12 laps of a yard. Two different, I don't know what the hell that means. Suck it, prison. That is kind of what happens when you're in prison. I hear. The Umbrella Corporation just recruited me for a job. A job! <laughs> it's, in, it's in exclamation marks. <laughs> oh, reading. Reading could be fun. Don't know how they're going to wipe out a life sentence for murdering 20 gangbangers, but whatever. Suck it. Job. Gangbanging. <laughs> the beats is next. Shitting happens because of all this. But whatever, I'll take it. Beat shitting away the rest of my days behind bars. I gotta get back into shape. July 26th. He's lost weight. But went for an enormous run. Missed, but missed his shots though. Five misses. Caught the chain yesterday. Got moved to a UBCS training camp. Does he mean train? Read it quicker. Where I fired my first bullet in two whole years. Missed a stationary target by five inches at 400 yards. I never fucking do that. It's like I forgot everything. Doesn't matter, I'll get sharp again. Watch me. Oh, he clearly had some lamb and sable. <laughs> I understand him. Sorry, it's still happening. August 15th. More running and weighing less. This is a chubby man. Who's getting less chubby. Target practice, 600 yards, two misses. But that's further away. So, getting better? Is he getting better? Okay, I've got my shot grouping down to three inches. Feeling good, feeling good. After lunch, they put me through my first mock battle. Mm. The Cap and the other guys are good people, and goddamn beasts of war at that. But what the fuck is up with that lunatic Nikolai? Yes, so that guy was Nikolai. Okay. I'm not going to say anything. I think I know stuff about him. I think. He used me as a fucking human shield. <laughs> Just to score some extra points. September the 25th. 
got all his shots in. No misses. Murphy's back, baby. You'll never see me miss another target. Tomorrow I go on my first mission. Riot control in Raccoon City. I think Jimmy would have liked that. My brother was always the first to reach out and help people. Oh, right up until those street punks took him away from me. Now it's my turn to do some good for a change the way I know best. Um, I'm in... Is that this guy? You see, it's pounds. I know nothing about pounds. Here in the UK, we do stone. It doesn't sound like he's that heavy. Right, I still don't have whatever opens that. My point is, is he meant to be a plump man that's lost lots of weight? Lost lots of weight. I think that's what I said. Hashtag sadly. Why are you taking one cartridge? Because if I use my shotgun once and I save that, reload it, the space would be. However, I'm very aware the shot is the cartridge is taking up the space. I'm gonna sneeze, guys. Sorry. Ah, BL's above. Right. Okay. Here we go. Oh, look at this. A bee. I'm guessing that's a bee, that's a flower, me, sister, and then they all went splat. N Nim. Mum. Mum. Or MM. MMs. Okay, oh, stuff. Choices. Is this a. Oh, this is exciting. This is very exciting now because. <coughs> Guys. I'm going to blow my nose. Coming back. Ladies and gentlemen, do forgive me. Lamb. Lamb causes runny noses, right? I don't know what to do, guys. There's two ways here. Oh, there's stuff. An electrician's notice. Public use generators provided by Raccoon City Electrician's Guild. A livery company. A guild. Due to the ongoing power outages, the guild has decided to provisionally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. <gasps> Lamb. Everyone is welcome to use them, but remember, these generators are running high voltage currents. Currents. If one were to be struck or impacted by gunfire. Oh, these are the red boxes that I've been shooting. You got that? If you see a generator spitting sparks, don't go near it. Oh, so actually, if I touch it, it'll hurt me, will it? Safety first, as the saying goes. If we make it through this mess, I'll have plenty of busted generators for sale at bargain prices. Is that how. The generator selling business works. If they're broken, you get lots of money. Your neighbourhood electrician, Sam. Okay, thank you, Sam. Uh, right. I'm going this way. I'm going this way. And I'm tempted to go... Not runny. I'm tempted to walk. For reasons like that. Now, he looks like... He's got some serious kit on. He looks serious. Don't eat me. Okay, he hasn't eaten me. I'm still wary of him though. But I can't pick up his thing. There we are. Uh, a suicide note. The Middle East, Eastern Europe, East Africa. I thought I knew what hell was. Figured I'd never crack, no matter what was thrown at me. A rock. But this job? It's a question mark. This one was supposed to be easy. A quick wage. I'd earned it. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad, all armed with state-of-the-art assault rifles. Yet we were wiped out in less than 48 hours. I've been through enough shit to know it only gets worse. And if that was just the beginning... Dot, dot, dot. Maybe I'm a coward. I don't care. This is the only way I have left. Way out I have left. I just hope my body doesn't get back up after I pull the trigger. Should I take care of him? What's that? That's two shotgun cartridges I've wasted. At least there'd be an animation in Resi 2 where if you shot someone and they weren't going to get up, they'd just stay dead. But at least, you know, the reality of a fuck. No, not fucking dogs. Dogs are sh shit. 
nervous about the dogs. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I hate dogs. I find them very hard to shoot. That was alright. Oh, there's a flipping sparky malarkey. But I guess I still would have had to shoot the same number of bullets, even if they were fuzzy. Even if they were electric. Electrocuted, right? I can't actually remember if I missed there. I think I missed one. One or two? Oh, God, these guys are gonna come in, aren't they? These guys are gonna munch me if I'm not careful. I'm also. Oh, do you feel properly panicked? This is so well done. I am being so cautious. I mean, I'm trying to be. Like, I'm moving cautiously through it. Oh, I love all the kind of. The puddles are. Um, steam coming off of them. I'm going to say condense. No. Yes. No. Vapor. Oh, my. What the hell am I trying to say? You know what I mean. Turning into steam. All words are evading me. Right. Okay. Gunpowder. I mean, I. It's useful. If I find another one. Oh, am I, do I want to look around for Charlie dolls? If I see them, I see them. Oh, but I should be able to hear them, shouldn't I? A little bit more. Okay, that bit wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. All right. Okay, shit. Oh, blessed. So blessed. Oh, I was just standing here and there's like an entire other side to this. Oh, hello. Okay, here we go. One. Two. That was a good shot. I enjoyed that. Three. Track and shoot. Are you falling? Oh. What a lumpy thud she had. Good off. Where is... Oh, okay, give a few. One, two, three. Run, go. Learn from your mistakes. Bosh. Missed. Bosh. 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 Run. <laughs> Crap, he's getting close. Come on. That's got to Okay. I'm hoping, while I involve myself with this man's personage, with my knife, the woman who I may have finished off decides not to be finished off. He's dead. Right, checking. She's not that one. She's this one. I don't trust her at all. Not a bit. Okay, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Forgive me! <laughs> she's not getting up. Oh, she's got no face. Okay. Oh, I've got no bullets, so... Sorry, guys. It's the pollen. It's the pollen. Because I can't go outside, I have all the windows open for the house. It's turning me into a zombie. I was just walking around the whole day going, oh, oh. It's not great. <clears throat> okay. Some progress made here. Gunpowder. Making bullets with that, definitely. Without doubt, because I don't even have a full magazine. Oh, okay. Can't do that. Nothing else around here. On continue. Alors. On continue. Eh. Hey. Terrible accent. Uh, right. A red herb. Is there a door here? No? Okay, here we go, guys. Onward. Progress again. Safe room. Safe room. Oh. Joy. Yes. Get organised. Look at me. Getting organised. A fax? A fax? The hell? Oh, it is the 90s in this game, isn't it? Fax from substation chief. 
to all employees. In response to the violent outbreaks across the city, we have implemented an international out power outage. Once the situation has been brought under control, I'm sort of reading it and not paying attention. Violent outbreaks across the city, we've implemented in oh, an intentional, not international, power outage. Once the situation has been brought under control, please activate the four breakers ASAP. Once that's done, turn on the main power switch in the control room to activate the power grid. Okay, so we've got stuff to do. I've gone from not having a lot to do. Oh, I can totally do this. This is a great idea. Yes. And some of you may be going, why the hell do you not have any herbs out? And that's a good question, so I'm going to take the first day spray with me. Because I was going to say, because you go down to danger if you get bit or you just die. All the more reason for having some health. Some herbs. Oh, I hear a doll. There he is. I wonder if I can stab up. Stab up. Oh, ambitious. Goodbye. It's a delightfully satisfying noise he makes. Sort of xylophones and jingle buzz. I don't know what to do. It's not gone excellently. I'm going to do a new data. New data there. On data nouveau. Ouais. Oui, ça c'est bon. Et après, plus de zombies. Oh. Oh, Sorry. Like... Sorry, Joe. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. it. Smells of lamb, doesn't it? Gonna have to own up to that one. Oh, I've got heebie-jeebies. Right, here I am, picking up blooming first aid sprays. Green herbs. They work! It was starting to look like Chad was never going to come back through from his rounds. So I poked my head in there. And fuck me! Next thing I know, I've got some kind of maggot squirming down my throat. <laughs> I was gagging and heaving! But those little bastards didn't seem to mind none. It just wouldn't come up. I was staggering around like a madman. And then I saw it. A green herb. My grandma. My grandma. Nobody's called grandma grandma. My grandma. My grandma. Maybe. Uh, maybe that is American. My grandma once told me that green herbs are a natural bug deterrent. So I grabbed one, shoved it down my gob and swallowed. And what do you know, the little things didn't want to be in there anymore. This is disgusting. I've never been so happy to throw up. I'm going to head back out there to look for Chad. The nation? I assume that's her friend rather than the nation of Chad. If anyone else sees this, remember, eat your greens. Don't you tell me. I love vegetables and fruit. I am... I just ate an entire packet of sugar snaps today. The peas, not sugar, sweets. And then if sugar snaps are the same thing around the world. Peas, basically. Petit pois. In their pods. Oh, that is that a fancy box? It looks a slightly different shape. Maybe it's a fancy box. I guess we'll have a look. Oh, shit. I'm a sugar snap. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's a feature from my older brother there. Okay, so this is a case. Oh my god. And, uh, I don't know what's in it. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we are. What? She is the master of picking locks, isn't it, in the first resi? Yeah, fair enough. In that tacky, tacky script that was written in the original game. A specialised tool which allows a skilled user to unlock simple locks when no key is available. Do you know what? I've got saving. I think we're done for this episode. I think progress has been made. I've got lock picks for things I have no idea why I need them. But there is a save machine back here, so I'm going to save it, I think. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys for the next episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. I'm going to save over that. What have I, what have you learned today? Don't have lamb. 
before you do recording. See you later. Bye.